Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at Elvis, my Jack Dempsey, and the three parrot fish in their 75 gallon home. I'll share a little bit about their history, so please stay tuned. Here we are looking at one of my 75 gallon aquariums. This aquarium is home to my three parrot fish, Elvis, my Jack Dempsey, two Cynodonis catfish, a Pictus catfish, and a Pleco. Elvis is a very special fellow. My neighbor, who is also a fish caper, needed to rehome him, and I was lucky enough to get him. I've had him for a while now and fall in love with him every time I look at him. He is a camera hog. As soon as I get my camera out, he's in front of the tank, ready to pose. Jack Dempsey cichlids have become very popular in the fish keeping hobby. They are easy to keep, acclimating to a wide variety of water conditions. They eat most anything you offer them. They are suitable for beginners as they are not a demanding fish to care for. I have found Alvis has a great personality, always ready to come to the front of the tank to see what I'm up to. I've had Alvis with different tank mates, all being unsuccessful. He's quite a bully. I had him with a couple Oscars, which he terrorized. He was with Red Doubles. That again was not a good match. It seemed any fish I tried, he didn't like. Finally, I decided to put him with my parrots, and it's been bliss ever since. Not only do they complement each other with their stark contrast of colors, but they actually like each other. Blood red parrotfish are truly amazing. I have had many. In fact, at one point, I had 16 blood red parrotfish in my 125 gallon aquarium. I have never experienced any issues, no matter what fish I have them with. They can be a little aggressive at times, but they mostly argue amongst themselves. You can see the one parrot has a scraped nose. That's from the two larger ones doing the tango. Parrotfish are also a good choice for beginners. They're easy to care for, are happy eaters, and acclimate easily to many varied water conditions. I must caution you though, they grow fairly large and will need a large aquarium in time. They are good eaters and grow fast. This 75 gallon with these fish, it is maxed out. Water conditions vary from place to place, so it's always best to allow your fish to acclimate themselves to the parameters that you can provide and keep constant, rather than try to replicate suggested parameters. Remember what works for some does not work for everyone. You will over time find what your fish need and accept may not be what someone else provides. I have an ABS tube in the back behind the rocks and plants. That's where Elvis likes to sleep. Oftentimes the parrots wiggle their way in there as well. The other tube is used by all, including the catfish. I keep the temperature at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This tank is filtered with an FX4 canister and has a bubbler for added agitation. Remember, big fish make big waste. I do a weekly 75% water change on this aquarium to keep their home healthy and clean. This is only a couple days after my water change. There are times where they decide to renovate and have sand piled up here and there, tubes moved about, and plants uprooted. I'm not sure what triggers this behavior as it doesn't happen all the time. It seems they all get in on the act when it suits them. When you have different species of fish, it's very hard to choose a favorite because they all have their own special qualities that make them unique. Parrotfish are very high on this list as they have a unique body shape. Their colors are so dark and bright, making them very appealing. Then you throw that nice blue speckled Jack Dempsey in the mix and you have a pretty cool looking group of fish. So until next time, 
This is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I wish you a great start to a new week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.